Hi guys, my name is Aaron. And I'm Christian. And this is episode one of Tip for Tip, where we answer small business questions about social media, website design, and marketing in general. The only catch is the small business owners have to answer a tip for us or provide a tip for us and the rest of our audience. Yes, and in today's episode, we have a very, very special guest. Uh, she's been working with us for a very long time now, and we're happy to have her here. It's Libby Boldra from Libby's Boutique. Hey, Aaron. Hey, Christian. Uh, this is my question for Br Bit Branding. Um, as I scroll through Instagram, I see so many boutiques that are vying for everybody's attention. So what is the best way for Libby's Boutique to increase her engagement on Instagram? So... That's a great question, Libby. And uh, wow, I think you know a lot of people say that you know content is king. And what does that really mean? Mm -hmm. I think uh, for boutiques and companies, and uh, I mean, let's talk, talk specifically about boutiques uh, and Libby's boutique. And I think to really go above and beyond with the content. So the content is your pictures, the 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 the, the pictures that you're putting on Instagram. Uh, I think they need to be, you know, high quality. Mm -hmm. uh, they need to be what what is called a slice of life. So you're taking pictures of uh, girls or ladies wearing your the clothes from Ladies Boutique in, in everyday activities. So right. or everyday events like uh, Mother's Days or graduations or going to the store, going to the store, get some tomatoes, <laughs> probably need bananas actually. Right. Uh, um, so it, it's it's going a, a little bit above and beyond, and and uh, you know just taking taking pictures and making them look, uh, making them look better, and just mm -hmm. going that extra step. So for example, take a look at this compared to this. As you can see, like it, I mean, you're going from a product that's maybe sitting behind a, a white screen uh, to something that uh, someone's actually wearing. So I think Instagram, specifically Instagram, uh, you want to make sure that you're using pictures that are, are lively, that uh, you can actually see uh, the the ladies and the girls wearing uh, your items. Uh, like I said, in every everyday scenarios. Right. Just relatable content. People want to be able to relate to it. So if they mm -hmm. can see themselves or picture themselves in the outfit, then they're more likely to associate with it, more likely to like it and engage with you. And uh, when I was talking about liking comments, I want to take what Christian was saying there about you know creating that slice of life, and that's part one. But part two to really get the engagement is that when people realize that you're putting out a quality product and they start liking or commenting, you need to engage with that audience. So if they ask a question or if they are, um, you know, even people that you follow, if they're putting out content, leave a genuine comment out there so that you can engage with them because the more you engage with them, the more likely they are to comment and like with your, uh, with your products and services. And when you do that, Instagram looks at it now that it's done by popularity and done by if you're putting out good content, then you're going to rise to the top. So this is really where if the content is good and the engagement is good and they can relate to them, then you're going to rise to the top. So yeah, those are two cents uh, for you today. Um, let's see what you have for us. Here is my fashion tip for the day. One of the things that I hear most commonly in the boutique from ladies is that they, they don't like sleeveless things because they don't want to show their arms. But we are coming upon the season where there are a lot of cute sleeveless tops and sleeveless dresses. So my suggestion to you is to find a cute cardigan that you like that you will be able to wear with lots of different things. I have a ton of them, uh, but you might just buy two colors, maybe a black one and a natural one. And then you will still be able to enjoy those sleeveless things. I mean, it's cold at work, it's cold at Walmart, it's cold in a restaurant. So I can tell you that you will get a lot of good out of just a lightweight cardigan. Have a great day. Bye now. Okay, again, this was Tip for Tip, episode number one. Again, thank you so much, Libby, with Libby's Boutique, uh, for being our number one guest here on our show. Um, if you are a small business, small business owner, <laughs> yeah, completely forgot about that. Okay, if you're a small business owner uh, and you want to be in our show, 
uh, please contact us. Either leave us a comment down below, message us on Facebook, Twitter, go to our website, chat with us. Uh, just let us know that you want to be in our show, and uh, we'll get you situated, and we'll show you how to do it. It's pretty easy, and it'll give you exposure as a business. Thanks, guys. Mic drop.